rollers are great. They have a nice straight edge you can use to cut along and they're great for getting measurements, but they have their limitations. You can't really wrap them around a wrist, a leg, a head. You can't get any kind of real circumference measurements. So we're going to help solve that problem today by creating two different kinds of rulers. One is a simple, bendable, flexible foam ruler that you can use to take measurements around objects such as your wrist, your legs, things like that, so you can know the measurements. But we're going to take it a step further and we're going to show you how to make a different type of foam ruler which has thickness to it. We have a quarter inch and a half inch thickness and these will help us compensate for the thickness of the foam when we're taking measurements. And that way when your measurements are noted, they will be accurate and your pieces will fit every time. What is the purpose of using foam rulers versus a regular? Well, a regular one is flat, has a certain diameter, and you usually use it to measure straight surfaces. You want to measure the length of this pen, you hold it around there straight, you can get a measurement. Now, when you start doing things with armor and cosplay, you're going to often have to wrap around things to get a measurement. I can't really do that with this metal ruler, so I made a flexible one out of 2 millimeter foam. And basically, I set this on top of a piece of foam, cut it, lined up the hash marks and marked it to uh, show the same inches and in all the different hash marks, quarter inch, half inch, three quarters and so on and so forth. And now with this, I can easily wrap it around my wrist and get a measurement. When I say easily, apparently I didn't mean easily. <laughs> so you can measure that around and get a good idea of where that sits. It's seven and three quarters. So the question is, will this always work? It'll work if you're using this thickness of foam or you're just looking for a different kind of measurement like the length instead of the circumference or diameter. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two more. We're going to make one out of quarter inch foam and half inch foam. These are both different thicknesses and they were just scrap pieces. You can see this is the quarter inch here on the top. It's a little bit thicker than, uh, well, a lot thicker than this. But it's not quite as thick as the bottom one, which is the half inch. But what people don't usually realize is when you start using a foam ruler and you were to wrap this around to get a measurement, you have to compensate for that half inch of thickness. So if we're going to be using half inch foam to make a bracer and we measure it with this, by the time it's all said and done, it's going to be too small. It's going to be tight. So if we have this and we measure around the wrist, we can compensate for that thickness by using a piece of that same thickness foam. So we're going to go ahead and make these two rulers and then we're going to compare them. Start with quarter inch. It's easy. I've got my regular ruler. I'm just going to take this and line up the marks. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five, six, seven, on down the line until you have them all done. Then you go back and do the halves and the quarters. Now for the sake of this, we're going to use it as an example to do a wrist. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip over some of the other ones that I know I'm not going to need. I'm going to do my 7, 8, there's 9, 10. I don't think I'll need any more than that. So let's go ahead and do a test. Okay, so we're good there. We're going to do the same one with the half inch, or the same thing with the half inch. So now we've got that done. We're going to get this one out of the way. And we're going to remeasure the wrist with our small 
two millimeter foam. Around the wrist, we're going to call it seven and a half. And that's pretty snug, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to know it's seven and a half. So with the quarter inch piece wrapped around again, we're just going to go where it would touch, which would be right, right there. That comes in right at nine inches. So we've already come up another inch and a half using this by the time we went all the way around. Now the question is, will this be enough at 10 inches? Because this is the half inch. So we've got the half inch. That comes right up at the 10 inch mark, if you can see that. Right there's the line. So now we know that the half inch is 10. So if we were actually looking at these, we would see that the regular one stops at seven. The quarter inch goes to nine and a half. And the half inch goes to 10 inches. So you can see here, let me go ahead and bring this around. Sorry for all the shaky cam here. There we go. So as we've gone up in thickness, we've gained length in the diameter that we're going to be using with um, the foam. Because the diameter plus the thickness will make the length longer. So for a simple bracer piece, using this, uh, the thinner, we'll only need 7.5 inches. If we were to go up to a thicker foam, we would be up to 9.5 inches just measurement around. And then this one, the thicker half inch, will go all the way up to 10 inches. So that's what we have to know when we're making our templates. This one was made using only this thin one because we were using pretty thin stuff. And we've got the top measurement of about six inches. Now if we were going to make this same bracer in a thicker armor, this top wouldn't be six inches. It would have to be bigger. It would likely be around seven and a half. So our template would have to compensate for the thickness of the foam. So that's how you make and use foam rollers. They come in real handy when you're using um, different size foams. So I always recommend that you take a scrap piece and create your own version of a flexible ruler just like this. So no matter what foam you're using, you get accurate measurements. Psst. Hey there. You. Yeah, you. Come here. Why don't you uh, click that subscribe button real quick, please? That's all I got for you. Just come by and see me at cccosplay.com. Hit that subscribe button. That way you'll always have updated information when new videos are released. And uh, connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All the information is on cccosplay.com. And last but not least, stay crafty, my friends.